Bully Gang, what up, y'all? I'm back with another quick update there. I'm outside right now with Diamond and Chanel, mother and daughter. And today is day seven for Chanel. She's super swollen back there. Y'all see that shit? So today's day seven for Chanel. So I'm gonna do a progesterone test on her today and see what her levels is at. And depending on her levels, we'll do an AI today. Or if not, we'll have to wait, do another progesterone in a, in a day or two and go from there, y'all. And for Tiny Diamond, we still gotta wait. I still gotta hit up the dude with the stud that I'm, I'm gonna use to see if I'm still even able to use him. Chanel was my first session. She produced this fire, little girl, with Acura, man. Tiny Diamond Structure's official. She sees those, she wanna go. This girl got amazing structure, y'all. That's why I be trying to tell y'all, man. I'm shooting for structure on all my productions for real. The color can wait, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna add that color later on down the line. I'm really not concerned with color, any type of other jeans. That color shit it don't mean as much to me as structure. And, and for some other people, DNA and color is first. But to each his own, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put the camera back up once I find out what progesterone level Chanel is at, y'all. Let's get it. All right, you guys, I'm back inside. I already took Chanel's blood. So this is gonna be for the people that are into the progesterone stuff and the science of, of this bully breeding shit or this dog breeding shit. So this is the best machine I ever had, y'all. Hands down. Uh, way better than the iChroma shit that I first had. That was my first progesterone, but the numbers are are like way more on point with this machine, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, so all right, so real quick, if you got this machine, then you know what's up. Now, if you don't and you're looking to get a machine, I definitely suggest get this one, man. Now, I'm gonna show you what to do. So this right here is a quality control a uh, little rapid test. So you click right here, QC, quality control, and you put this in, and you hit start. That's gonna basically let you know if the machine is, everything is, is good to go. All right, everything says normal, so it's good to go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure pet says dog, and make sure that says serum. All right, so now I'm gonna take the blood, now I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna put in the centrifuge to spin it down. But it's at a one. It's at a one right now. Cause that's where the water on the other one is at too as well. You need to make sure both both of these things are filled to the exact same line and going directly across from each other. So that way it doesn't make too much noise. And it spins good. There you go. Spin it. So I'm gonna give that a bow. I'm gonna let that spin for about two minutes. Then I'm gonna take the serum that's spinning from this blood and put it in this detection buffer right here. And from here, I'm gonna put it on this vortex, which just, this is just, you put this on here and it vibrates the serum and the buffer and it spins it evenly all around. So then I'm gonna take 75 ULs of that. Then I'm gonna dump it into this test strip. And then I put the test strip into the machine and we wait 15 minutes for the results. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. And then I get back to y'all with the results. All right, it says dog, it says serum. Now we hit start. All right, now we wait, y'all. I'll get right back with y'all. All right, she's only at a 1.7, so she's still super early. So that means I'm gonna retest in like three or four days, you know, just to make sure we get everything on point. I might even do it in two or three days, actually. I love this machine, it's my favorite machine, y'all. Now we done, we good to go. I could also print it if I want to. This is what I do for all the customers that come and see me for progesterones or reverse progesterones. I print it out and I pass it to them just so they can have it, you know? It's my little station, y'all. I got my ultrasound machine right here. I confirmed a few litters with this already. I got my little microscope right here to check the semen, make sure it's still swimming and shit like that. You know what I mean? I got another big centrifuge right here. A uh, little box of medications. Oh, a bunch of little miscellaneous stuff, man. I got all my needles and shit here. A lot of people been coming to check me for progesterones, reverse progesterones, ultrasounds, and AIs. Cause I do it all, y'all. I'm doing it all. You know what I mean? For a good number, and and I've been pretty successful with as far as confirming litters for progesterones and getting them pregnant. Been been pretty lit, man. So even with um, confirming litters with the ultrasound. Yeah, on day 30, if you want to check if your female's pregnant, that's what I use right here, man. Ultrasound machine. Instead of going to the vet to pay. $80 for just to go in there, then another 100 something for ultrasound to tell you that she is pregnant or whatever, she's not. 
So I decided to just cash out on this machine and it's doing me justice, y'all. It's doing everybody else justice too. If you want to grab a machine, hit me up on IG L.O.E718 Bullies and I'll direct you to the spot that I get mines from. But alright, y'all. That being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Bully game, we off this.